So I'm going to go over the power rule with you guys. We did these two in class, but I'll just go over them again to make sure that we are all on the same page. And then I would love it if you guys could pause these and try working them on your own and then see my answers for them. So you're able to do this on your own, but also can see the steps by steps of what I did if you are confused. So for this type of problem, if I, let me get my pen. Here we go. If I have my pen, I, well, I mean, that has nothing to do with you, but so I want to take my coefficients and multiply them together. I have a one out front here, the two, two times one gives me a two. Then I have to combine my like terms. So we use our product rule on the inside first. So with our rules of PEMDAS, it tells us to do inside the parentheses first. So we have j to the fourth and j to the fourth. We know for product rule, we add the exponents. So that becomes j to the eighth, k squared, and k to the third becomes k to the fifth. And then we have h to the third. Like I said, order of these exponents does not matter. Then we square it. Now, this is when the power rule comes in. When we raise two to the second power, that's two squared, which means two times two. I'm not saying two times this two, I'm saying two of the coefficient times itself, which we'll see in the other problem, but I wanna make this clear. It's two times itself. So that gives me four. Then we multiply the exponents. Eight times two is 16. Five times two is 10. H to the third times two is h to the sixth. And that would be my final answer. For the next problem, I have negative three and negative one. That gives me a positive three. X squared, x to the fourth gives me x to the sixth. We add the exponents. Y squared and Y to the third gives me Y to the fifth. And Z to the fourth and Z to the third gives me Z to the seventh. And like I said before, this is using our product rule that we did last class that I hope everyone seems a little bit more used to. And if not, you're using those skills now so you could get a little bit more comfortable. Then we square it. So like I said before, we're doing three times three. You do it times itself that many times. So three times three is nine. X to the sixth squared is X to the 12th because we multiply. Multiply, we get 10. Multiply, we get 14. So now we're at the problems that we did not get to go over together, but here they are for your convenience. So we get the inside. Three times two is six. X to the fourth just stays X to the fourth. Y to the third. We cannot combine anything there. Then I want to cube it. So six times six times six gives me 216. Four times three is 12. Three times three is nine. Next problem, we can't multiply any coefficients by anything, so we leave it as seven. X to the sixth and X to the ninth is X to the 15th. And we have y to the seventh, and now we're squaring this. So seven times itself is 49, x to the 30th, y to the 14th. Next problem, we got three times two, which is six. x to the fourth can't combine with anything, and y to the fifth, three plus two is five. Now we're doing it to the fourth power, so I'm gonna use my calculator. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6 gives me 1,296. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 20. Now let's go down here. We have 2. Can't multiply by anything. A squared has nothing to multiply by. Now we have b to the 3rd. b to the 4th is b to the 7th. Minus 1 is b to the 6th. Now let's cube it. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. A to the 6th, B to the 18th. So I just took 3 times 2, 3 times 6. We're just using multiplication here. Then we're going to do 5 times 2, which is 10. M to the 3rd and M, remember that's that imaginary 1, is M to the 4th. 
n squared and n to the third is n to the fifth. And now we squared it. So we used our product rule on the inside, power rule on the outside. Square it, we get 100. Because 10 times 10 is 100. Multiply m to the eighth, n to the tenth. Down here. 2 times 2 is 4. x to the 3rd. x squared gives me x to the 5th. y squared, z squared, and z squared is z to the 4th. Now let's square it. 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Finally, 3 times 2 is 6. m squared and m to the 4th is m to the 6th. n to the 3rd and n to the 3rd is n to the 6th as well. p squared and p squared is p to the 4th. But we must cube it. As you can tell, I guess they really like 6s for these types of problems because we're doing 6 cubed again, which is 6 times 6 times 6. Do not do 6 times 3. We're raising 6 to the third power. It means it's multiplying itself 6 by 3 times. So 6 by 6 by 6 gives me 216. m to the 6 cubed is m to the 18th. Same thing. If I could write 18 properly. p to the 4th to the 3rd is p to the 12th. So this is how we used our product rule and then our power rule. So it's a little bit of a review of product rule and then applying our power rule of raising our coefficient to that power, which means we multiply it by itself that many times. And then we multiply the exponents when it's raised to that power. So if you have any questions, please email me and let me know if you need some extra help.